What's up everyone, this is iReviews, in this video I will show you the top 20 features of the new iOS 9. The first feature we're going to talk about, it's a new feature on the keyboard. Now on your keyboard you can tap with two fingers and this allows you to move the cursor anywhere you want on the text. When you want to edit it, you just move the cursor anywhere you want, release it and now you can see I can go ahead and delete that text from there very useful feature next up we are going to talk about a feature on safari what this feature does is that it allows you to quickly save a link to your notes you just tap notes right here and now it will show up a window you can even write a note right here you can write anything you want and save it and it will save it to your notes app next are the attachments on email now if you write an email, all you have to do is just tap to show the action menu, then just hit here add attachment and you can add any of your files from your iCloud drive to your email as an attachment. The next feature we're going to talk about is the new app switcher. You can see on iOS 9 we have a new app switcher, it doesn't look anything like the iOS 8 switcher and we don't have here the recent contacts. And the bad thing is that we don't have a button to kill all the background running apps with just one click. Still we have to push them up to close one by one. On iOS 9, Apple has made it very easy to select photos. All you have to do is just tap select and now you can just swipe your finger through the photos that you want to select and you can select any of them simply by swiping your finger. The next feature we are going to talk about, it's included in the Photos app. You can see right here, if you're looking at Photos, you have this bar right here, which allows you to swipe like this and move through your photos quicker. Just slide like this and you can move through your photos. iOS 9 also allows you to change the video recording settings from your Settings app. All you have to do is just open the settings, go to Photos and Camera, and then here you have camera, you have record video and record slow-mo. If you go here, you can choose any of these options. And if you go to record slow-mo, you can also choose here between two options. You have 120 and 240 frames per second. Next up, we are going to talk about wallpapers. On iOS 9, if you go to set a wallpaper, here you will have two choices. You can choose to have a still wallpaper or perspective. If you choose perspective, the wallpaper will move based on the movement of your device and if you choose still, you will just have a simply still wallpaper on your device. The next feature we're going to talk about is the side switch. Now on iOS 9, if you go to settings, go to general, and go down here, you will have use side switch 2. You can choose what you want to use side switch for, you can use it to mute your device or you can use it to lock the rotation. Now you simply select one of them and now you will change the functionality of the side switch with just one click like this. Another very useful feature of iOS 9 is the search bar on the settings app. Now when you open your settings app you have the search bar at the top right here and you can tap and search for anything you want on your settings. You don't need to go and scroll around on the settings app to find something all you have to do is just tap it here and just search for here for anything you want. Here you can search, let's say for Facebook, tap on it, you can open it. Very useful feature. Another new feature of iOS 9 is the new 6 digit passcode. Now on previous iOS versions we had 4 digits on the passcode and Apple has added 2 more digits to the passcode on iOS 9 to make it more secure. Now instead of 4, you will need to add a 6 digit passcode on your iOS 9 device. The next feature we are going to talk about is the search. Now you can slide from the left side of the home screen and it will take you to the search bar where you can search for your apps, contacts, you can also search the internet for videos, news or any article you want. And as you can see right here, it will also show suggestions of your apps and also of your contacts. Next, we are going to talk about Siri. Siri has completely been redesigned on iOS 9 and now it looks just like Siri on Apple Watches. 
and according to Apple, Siri on iOS 9 is 40% more accurate and 40% faster than Siri on iOS 8. Next up we are going to talk about the new design Notes app. You can see right here when I'm on the Notes app and I want to take a note, you can see I have this action bar right here. If I want to insert a picture on any of my notes, I can do that simply by tapping here. I can go to my photo library and pick any of my pictures or I can take a new photo with the camera right here. I can also write anything I want here with my finger. You can see you have the tools right here. Very cool features on the new notes app on iOS 9. Next up we will talk about the transit maps. Apple has added transit maps to the maps app on iOS 9. You can see it right here, it's very useful. You can see if you tap on the station right here, it will show you detailed information about that station. Here you have very useful information, you have also pictures and you have reviews. Very useful feature. On iOS 9, Apple has now finally fixed the shift key. Now you can see on the keyboard all the letters are lowercase and if you tap the shift key right here, they're uppercase. This is a very good fix from Apple, which is very useful and will make your life easier. Another feature Apple didn't talk about in their keynote is the new San Francisco font, which is featured on iOS 9. Now Apple has changed the font on iOS 9 and now it features the same font as the Apple Watch. You can see this font is implemented throughout all the system and it looks very cool. Next up we are going to talk about the battery usage. Now if you go to settings on iOS 9 we have a new section right here where it says battery. If you go here you have the battery usage and here if you tap on the right side it will show you the exact minutes that these apps have been used you see on screen and in the background and you can see the percentages of the usage of batteries from all these apps. Next up we are going to talk about the new app called Wallet. This app will replace the Passbook app from iOS 8 and now on iOS 9 we will have a new app called Wallet. If you open up this app you have here all your passes, then you have the Apple Pay, everything you need you have in the Wallet app. And as Apple said on their keynote, they are trying to replace our traditional wallet with this wallet app and you will have everything you need on this wallet app. And the last feature for this video is the low power mode. You can see now on the settings app, we have a new section right here, which is battery. If we go to battery right here, you can enable low power mode, which will save the battery of your device and according to Apple, it will extend the battery life of your battery up to 3 hours. If you're running low on battery, you just enable this and it will shut down the background activity that your device doesn't need and it will extend the battery life of your iOS 9 device. So these are the top 20 new features of the new iOS 9. I hope you guys enjoyed them. For more iOS 9 videos, please make sure you subscribe. You can also go ahead and follow us on Twitter. You can find a link to our Twitter account in the description of this video.